Hello there. In this video, I want to look on a new application. Actually, it's a little bit older application. It's a new version of applications, Rebel 5 Pro. It was recently updated and have it some very nice, interesting new features that is definitely stand this application out of the crowd. This application designed for those digital artists who like feel and how the traditional media respond, like oil painting, watercolor, um, pencil, and so on, and want this express with digital media. Uh, before we actually going, one thing I want to mention, sometimes I notice some artists, traditional artists will put down digital media, digital artists as, hey, you know, it is um, not what paint, it's not real. I do use the aquarelle paint, I do watercolors, I use, I do traditional oil painting. Um, recently just start testing acrylic, not yet there. And I'll tell you from my own perspective, um, if we have a digital painting and Leonardo da Vinci, he will totally just done digital painting because the difference between traditional media and digital media, digital media give you ability to create more than possible without focusing and spending your time on actually stuff that you must create but not necessary. So, and you can be agree, disagree with this, but with this application, you can focus more on art and ignore some of this, ignore some of the elements. Of course, people say it's, you know, for example, when I paint with oil painting and I can say it's have smell, it's have this feel, it's all this stuff. Yes, it, it, it does. But, you know, we look also on traditional film. I still sometimes shoot with traditional film because it's have a nostalgia to this, but it's no way closer to digital photography what I can do. It's not even comparison because I can focus on the art and less on technicality. Same with the traditional media where you can focus a little bit more on technical aspect and less on the art. So what the Rebel does in this application, like Painter and other ones, they help us to focus on the creativity and less and less on the technical details, which is kind of help us. And of course, you're always welcome to use traditional media if you need it. But right now, let's look what this application will give to us. First off, when you start, you can see you'll have it uh, screen open with some menus on both sides, properties, menus, accessing. We have it our new artwork. Where at the beginning, we can select size of the paper we want to work and what type of the paper. Notice also at the bottom right here, we have a color profile. And reason is why I put in color profile because depending on how you work, many times what I do with my digital media, I maybe use a different, I use a digital photography, 3D render and hand painting and mix them together. And my workflow from the camera on set to Adobe RGB. So in this case, if I want to keep it same type color profile, I want to be sure it is set list in Adobe RGB. You always can predefine this if you always use the same one and change in profiles. We'll look on this in a second. So let's go ahead and click OK. And you can see we're creating new um, page, which look about the same. And right here we have it. I don't know what it's called. Press uh, watercolor kind of papers for the watercolor or, or painting. So it's very similar. And um, to understanding, this is a 2D image. What we're working on a screen, it's 2D. Color is just optional information. Shapes we can recognize only by comparing highlights and shadows. This is how we perceive the 3D art. In uh, some cases, how you're painting, sometimes with oil, you may be painting black and white and put it clear color coding over to add color. So you have different techniques you can use it. But in a computer, it's what we're doing. It is we're working only with 2D images here and we are painting them. And important for us to understand black and white contrast. Like, for example, right here, we see texture that is our brain perceived as a texture, but realistically, it's just a uh, almost purling noise on the luminosity level. Okay, that is a little bit technicality, but let's skip that over. Right here we have a piece of our new paper, and if we look on interface, on the top we have a menu, and usually this is menu, it's very standard, which is nice from application to application. 
similar if you're done with any other one new open save and so on you have it all these properties we will look a little bit later we also have it edit whatever we want perform to specific areas or all work we have a different layers working and layers similar to photoshop if you're familiar there or other applications we're going from bottom to top same on this side you can preview layers on your right side and it's meaning your top layer will override or interact with bottom in some cases bottom can interact with top but usually it's going from top to bottom okay also we have a different uh, filters we control our view how we can preview open different property windows or accessible windows with the tools and of course access to community which is actually growing and a uh, very nice to create it and next is a help bar which is actually very very helpful in many cases because if you just started with a rebel 5 i highly highly recommend for you to go over this intro tutorials if for some reason you closed you can always go back to help click intro and right here you can see you have a 10 step but this will explain very very well what is each of those windows does how you can access all ac moving uh, brush I mean it's uh, going in very details and I've done a very good job to explain and showing what is necessary of course this is just give you an overview and personally I like to read go over these elements to kind of understand them but as soon when I close this sometimes I'm forgetting what does that mean uh, what is all this windows does because I'm more hands-on person and probably most of us this way we will remember better when we're actually doing doing this little project and I speak about little project if you're interested in this if you go help and click on video tutorials then you will be going to this YouTube escape motions channel okay let's go on at home and right here you can see they have a lot of new videos editing adding on a daily basis almost and if we go click on our windows you can see we have the watercolor and all this oil project and everything so that they will help you step by step by different artists to see how they work and going over and my personal I love this I love going over them but my personal problem sometimes they too good the artists who are making them they're good they make it look so easy and as soon when you take your brush and start doing this you realize hey it does not look even closer to what they are doing and it's reason mostly just knowing the tool it's not about your artistic skill it's knowing how to tool so I would recommend first even you can look on those videos you can try to see how it works but just to take a pen play around with the colors creating simple things don't worry that they look not as you want them look it's okay it's just playing around to understand how the tool work to get familiar with the tool so in what I was saying we'll look around from this video it can help you but overall very fast overview we have it right here on our top left corner the tools and the tools is nice because you can if you go over them they actually help you it still be express oil watercolor and if for some reason you don't have those still tool tips go to edit preferences and inside the preference um, we can go right below on a general scroll down a little well you see tool tip be sure this one is enabled so you can check and it will showing your tool tip as well till you hear be sure the after save is enabled as well and set how often you want it 10 minutes is probably on average but if you are work on something complex piece where you constantly painting another thing more active you maybe want to do every five minutes 10 minutes maybe not enough you maybe lose information if something happened and electricity go off your computer is stuck in application maybe crash who knows what's going on with this but at least you will save it in this case and as well till you're here you can see um, additional properties you can go through all of them it's very self-explanatory we'll look on them as well afterwards a couple things just what I was saying default profile right here you can go in the color section and you can select what default profile you want I say I want to go with Adobe RGB in this case because it is my color space that I'm working from my camera down to Photoshop 
and so on. So I want to keep it in the same color space. And so on, you have it, your tablet, you have it, your keyboard. By the way, on the tablet, you also can select what you have it. I'm currently using the mouse, but I also have a Vicom pad hook up to this, so it's a Vicom device. You may have it a Windows pointer or ink device and so on. Um, tablet options will kind of look on this, but you can see it's going with mouse or a pen position. Okay, so this is kind of if in case you don't have a toolbar up here, you can change that. So we have these tools, we have a different type of brushes, we have a different type of they can apply blend, smudge, clone, and so on, eraser tools, fill tools, uh, pick color. So it's all this kind of tools we can uh, use this one. A um, little bit different from maybe um, other applications. It's just a little bit below where you have it water. Then you can put it placed on the water around your um, canvas. So we can like, you know, put it somewhere water. And if you're using like watercolor example, you may going and will be interacting with some of these water elements. And you can see how it's spreading and all the stuff. It's actually very amazing. You also have it um, effect like dry. If we need to remove some excessive water, we can very fast just remove it like in a reel. And of course, if you take a blow, you can add blowing around and you can see we can just like blow a little bit this area. And you know what? It's sometimes just <laughs> relaxing and fun just doing this. And you can see just make a force going with this. Those tools just a little bit different maybe from your uh, normal kind of palette. So next we have it also selector of those ones, selector and transform and kind of size those as usual you'll find another ones. Below we have the brush creator. And by the way, if you don't have it, some of this, this is default. That's mean I open um, Rebel 5 and some windows open. If you don't see any of them, you can go click on the windows and right here by checkbox, you can enable them. And the interesting things, you can also undock them. You can see just drag and put it. And in some cases, this is uh, nice if you have it multiple screens. So I can take this, put it on different screen, like second or other screen, third screen. And you can leave it proper is accessible, but not on your main. So you can focus just on your art if you think it will take a lot of uh, space. But I'm currently running with 4K monitor and it's just plenty of space for me to work with this. OK, we have a brush creator. We also have it all options currently right below below. You can see this is the property for the tools we're selecting. So if we're selecting water, it will be one if we're selecting brush and so on. Some of those windows will change. We also have a different type of the brushes and those brushes you can um, create customization, save it, use it or download it already pre-made for you. So it's a big selection of the brush you can do on our right side. We have our navigator with a position tilt on the, for the pen if you need to see. But usually I believe it's just in the navigator and navigator is a nice window to have. Um, if you're developing art, maybe you're doing a book cover, I almost always keep this navigator open, not for the purpose of navigating, as more purpose to see um, thumbnail of the image. Because when I create art, doesn't matter, digital poster, whatever, poster for the movies, um, like several I did, and I want to be sure those posters will look small and nice, like um, I did several, and you can see on the IMDb's right there the teeny tiny thumbnail. So for me, I can look and say, OK, they will look good as the thumbnails for digital media. And also I can look and say, hey, they, when they print, they will look nice. But navigation, it's help just for me almost preview like thumbnail. And below we have it, a color, color select palettes, whatever you want to work with, additional optional palettes. And of course, on the bottom, we have it, our layers where we can add, remove layers, work with the reference images and so on. And speak about the reference images. I said this is some windows that by default open, but if you don't have it, you can always go inside the click windows and open right here. For example, what I was saying, reference image. So we can open additional window and we can put it reference images as we painting alone. You can also use layer as a reference image if you need it. Okay, and we can just also take reference image and just place it maybe right on a bar. Currently, I don't have any reference image, so just a gray screen, but it is very, very useful when you work with this. 
overall here is a very fast really very fast overview of an interface and the best parts after you've done this interface just go around click select whatever brush you feel like start painting play around select different colors see how this all work again i'm just doing right now with the mouse um, some of this application work great with a mouse but sometimes you just vicom pen or a pad work very good because it's allowed you to have this control of the pressure or sensitive so it's very nice okay so let's go ahead and in the next video we'll look a little bit closer on some of those tools we'll look how they work uh, what properties they have it and we'll work on some teeny tiny project we don't have said before we don't need to jump and create um very complex images start with something small start with something that help you understand how the tool work and when you understand how it's work you will stop focusing on the technicality and just working on expressing your idea directly to the canvas